David. On Monday, we told you that the Hope Center will be closing the doors in December after 12 years of serving Rapid City's homeless community. While the board of directors at the center are working on what the next steps might be, those who frequently visit are worrying about where they'll go once the doors are locked. Madison Newman shares the stories of some people who use the Hope Center as more than just a place to get their mail. For those without a place to lay their head, putting an address on a job application seems out of reach. That's where the Hope Center stepped in. And for those who used its services, it became much more. Uh, I come um, for uh, a place to go and uh, also um, people uh, to talk to and also um, good coffee. And um, they also have uh, microwaves and everything for uh, people to heat up food. Then at the Trinity Church, they, uh, they pass out food and everything too. So. I see a lot of the crowd coming from Trinity Church, you know, here to the Hope Center. For some, it's one of the only places they can get clean laundry and some mail. It's been a appropriate place for the homeless and for the non-homeless people that come here that get mail and laundry and donations of clothing <clears throat> and sometimes the food donations that we get. And it's going to be a downfall when, once that closes up. And while people wait to hear about the possibility of a new place. You know, and a lot of these things that are going on, you know, it's, it's, it's very hard for us. You know, we look for a place to be a home. They also think some local programs could be more helpful. You know, from the closure of this Hope Center, you know, I want to say that, you know, to the, all these um programs, these native programs that are happening in Rapid City, the Woyate, the, the Native Collective, the Okilikiche over there up by Kmart, they should all chip in and find a temporary shelter for these homeless, these people that are, you know, need a place to go when it's getting cold. The hopes in our closing doesn't only affect the homeless. If they took this place away, uh, you're gonna see more struggle. I mean, it's gonna hurt a lot of us. Uh, well, natives, uh, the homeless, uh, a lot of Christians come here too. Though. The Hope Center is more than just a building to those who spend time there. Well, that's why it's called the Hope Center. You know, everybody comes over there because you know it helps out. Reporting in Rapid City, I'm Madison Newman.